thank you so much for having me. Um, I just ordered a bunch of pizzas on the PTA bucket, so I appreciate thank that. Thank you, parents. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, Save your receipt. It's, it's Not truly, for him, for his students. Yeah, for, for my students. Um, it's truly an honor. Um, I really enjoy uh, these presentations every year. And um, let's jump right in. So um, everything that we do here at the High School of Art and Design is revolved around the CTE um, education program, which is career and technical education. Please remind your students, uh, your um, uh, sons and daughters, that they do go to a CTE school. It is really important that they know the jargon um, and what we do here, it revolves, everything revolves around workplace learning, right? So it's a multi-sequence uh, program where we introduce um, job shadowing, internships, uh, volunteer work, college and career readiness, um, as well as, as you know, all of the art teachers here are seasoned people from industry. Uh, that have worked in the industry for probably over 30 years. And um, what we do is we bring those components of the workplace and what's happening in industry now into the classroom. So, there's, there's two chairs over here too, for anyone who's walked in, and a chair over here. So this is the place where um, all of our students, you know, their success starts here. So um, as uh, was just mentioned, um, our primary goal is the jobs, internship, shadowing, and volunteering. Um, we do, I take much pride in trying to find the highest quality internships available for our students. As you all know, um, by the 10th grade, um, I also teach the Photoshop class here. Um, my specific goal with that class is to prepare the students to be freelancers by the end of 10th grade. So they will be Adobe certified. I take the um, design thinking approach within the classroom where the students are not only learning Photoshop, but they are learning how to um, act like professionals. They're gaining those soft professional skills. They're brainstorming, they're ideating, they're conducting research, they are taking all that research, synthesizing it, and then presenting it and getting feedback all in the matter of just 20 minutes in a class. So another um, component of our work-based learning program is that we um, host Career Week, which is coming up. So if any of you would love to come and speak to the school and share your professional uh, journey and experience, that would be wonderful. Uh, the dates are February 10th through the 14th, as well as the 24th through the 28th. We have a pretty much, um, we have an all day schedule. It's 8.20 a.m. to 2.40, so we could fit you in any time slot. And you know, since all of our uh, majors here at Art and Design are transferable, we, we definitely encourage any type of industry to come speak with our students. Um, and also we have, con consistently have networking events. Um, just for example, we had uh, iGeneration Youth Magazine come to speak to our students to hire them as freelancers um, to not only showcase their artwork in this national magazine, but to also um, inspire them to be advocates and you know bring their voice out into the world. And then we have, I am the career counselor in the school. Um, so that means I cater to about, I think we're pushing 150 uh, students right now, and it's only half the year. Uh, we'll get into more of the data, but what I provide to the students is sometimes the shoulder to cry on. Um, resume uh, building, mock interview, and portfolio development. I give them a very critical eye on their portfolios because what we do with those portfolios is we prepare, we prepare them for their um, interviews. So field trips and worksite visits, this is consistently happening throughout the entire year. All of the art teachers are taking the students outside of the building. It's really, really important to bring in that relevancy to our um, young artists and designers. Um, one really, really interesting thing that we're doing um, as a part of the larger DOE CTE initiative this year 
is that we're, we had the opportunity to get the two best spots in their career week, which is we're doing um, a field trip to Estee Lauder and Sotheby's, which is gonna be an excellent, excellent trip. And what we, how we evaluate our students is from the work uh, skills employability profiles. So as you'll see in the, um, the sequence that you could pick up on your way out if you haven't grabbed one as of yet, um, what we do uh, here in the Department of Education is that we send the students out into the workforce and then we actually have those supervisors evaluate our students on some very specific criteria. And here are some examples. Um, I would be, will be happy to share this deck with anyone um, at the end of the presentation. Personal mindset, planning for success, social awareness, problem solving, professional attitude. And this um, kind of segues into our internship data. Um, I'm very excited, I'm up for tenure this year, so I've been working on bringing in all of this uh, data. So it's uh, pretty interesting, and just to kind of look back in, of the past three years here at Art and Design has been um, just a, a magical experience. So when I came in, um, I think we were looking at around 80 to 100 internships. Um, that quickly boosted to 191 total internships, and the breakdown is right here within the major with a total of 155 works, uh, work sites. And then last year, we jumped to 296, which is incredible, um, a total of 250 work sites, and as you can see, the little graph with the art and design branding, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been really, really interesting. And I mean, being at, I mean, I think we're at 150, close to 200 right now in the middle of the year, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, this is a list of some of the work sites that we have. Um, again, my primary goal is to get internships where the students are utilizing their skill sets, right? We have a very, very special population of young people here, and they can, I think the, the most special piece is that they're not there to be trained, they're there to be part of the team. Um, for example, actually one of the internships here at the American Museum of Natural History was passed um, through the PTA last year, and it's such a special internship. Uh, the students have joined the design team, the exhibition design team, and they've actually um, contributed to the, I don't even think, I, it's probably a non-disclosure agreement thing, but I can't tell you what We're the exhibition <laughs> is. Um, but they actually had their hands in designing the next exhibition at the Natural Museum, uh, American Museum of Natural History. So that's the type of internships I'm looking for for our students. You know, they're not doing the typical, like getting coffee and making errands. They are infused with the team and they're, um, again, utilizing their skills. But wait, there's more. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna be begin with a story. So I'm Carl Landager. Uh, I actually started here as a student teacher under the great Andrew Benchko. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my progression here at Art and Design. So um, as a student teacher, um, I'm a huge advocate for social innovation and working with communities with the design process to help them um, to, to actually work with them to solve any social issues that they're dealing with in the school. And when I was a student teacher here, I um, overheard a student say, um, it was well, four years ago, um, that they wanted more artwork in the hallways. So a lightning bolt just went off in my head and I said, you know what, that's exactly what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is design the entire school um, with the students in mind, right? Um, and this grew into a larger initiative because what first started as showcasing their work grew into finding and um, synthesizing patterns with the students. And we noticed that, um, and I don't know how they do it every single day, but they walk from the fourth floor to the 11th floor on the stairs pretty often. And that is very disorienting. 
So what we did is we painted these murals in these sections of the school to help students orient themselves through the space. So it's called wayfinding and design. If you ever get a chance to go down the center staircase, that's where most of the kids are pretty much passing out when they're trying to get to the 11th floor. Um, the numbers are uh, painted on the doors, so it really helps them find where they need to go quickly. Um, and it became a huge typographical experiment. And one of the students who painted the murals got into RISD, so it's really great. Um, so when I first got here to art and design, uh, these are literally, when I walked in the door, the graphic design um, department was showcasing their work in the county gallery. And instantly I started taking pictures. I could not believe the quality of the work that the students were creating here. 10 times better than what I see in industry. I mean, one of the best things about being a teacher and moving away from the design world is that I don't have to work with adults anymore. And also, <laughs> working with young people, we are consistently on the edge of creativity, right? We're just, we're walking that fine line all the time, so it's really, really exciting. And I obviously started texting these pictures to my wife, and I said, look at this work. I mean, this is incredible, right? And she was just completely blown away at myself. This is her at one of the dances. I took the photography one day. Uh, she uses this as her bio picture on her website. She is also a designer. Um, and, you know, just it opened up to my world, my world of the possibilities that the students have here, uh, here at Art and Design. So, what did we create? We combined all of the art departments into one superhero powerhouse team. Um, what we like to call here the art and design um, agency. So it's the A&D agency. So my idea was to have this mass collaboration and let's see what the students could do in front of real clients. So that's what we did. We created an in-house creative agency here it's a multidisciplinary team. We are highly collaborate, uh, collaborative, and what one of the most special things about this program is that students from different majors are learning their content. So I have illustration students that are turning into fantastic graphic designers. I have cartooning students on After Effects in sophomore year learning senior software. Um, <laughs> so it's really, really, it's just mind blowing. We just had a client meeting today, and it was it went fantastic. Um, so yes, this is my contact information. Um, I absolutely love teaching at the school. Um, it's it's great to find, you know, your passion in life. So please reach out to me if you have any internship opportunities, or um, you know, if you want to come to the school and speak, we always invite um, parents in, especially because I'm sure that you all have so much to bring to the table from the professional world. Um, if you need to tell your son or daughter where I am, I'm in room 1001, and um, I thank you so much for your time. Can you take some questions? Yeah.